Subway surfing gang? This looks pretty easy. Don't let him seconds! Ladies and gentlemen, present the official voice of hip hop, Super Rockin' Mr. Magic. WBLS 107.5, the class by itself. Well, good evening to your super listeners. How you doing tonight, all your fly guys and fly girls? Welcome once again to the world famous Mr. Magic Rapper Jack. And of course, I am Sir Juice, your host for the next three hours as we kick off 30 minutes of non stop music. Turn the boxes up, it's big fun in the big time. Make this here one chance that you do not start no fight. Cause that is one thing that we all must see done. And if you start some shit, your ass will have to run. If you was in. Onze eerste interviewafspraak is met DJ Grandmaster Flash, een van de pioniers van de hip-hop beweging. We ontmoeten elkaar in de South Bronx, een van de armste en gevaarlijkste wijken van de stad. Maar ook de plaats waarin de tweede helft van de jaren 70 de eerste rappers en scratchers opstonden. South Bronx, the South South Bronx, the South Bronx, the South South Bronx, South Bronx, the South South Bronx. South Bronx. Back in the days when hip hop began, with Coca La Rock, Cool Herc, and them Bam, these boys ran to the latest jam. But when it got shot up, they went home and said, "Damn!" Remember Bronx River, Rolling Stick, the Cool DJ Red Alert, and Chuck Chill out on the mix. When Africa Islam was rocking the jams, and on the other side of town was a kid named Flash, the kid named Flash, Flash. So where are we now? We're upstairs. This is um, this is where the Dixie Club used to be. Dixie Club. Yeah, right here on Freeman Street. It was like after we grew out of the, um, the black door, my manager went searching for a club in the general area. And this was it. It held like about 800 people. Is it still a club? No. It's now Examica Playhouse. In the early day, a DJ used to play a record like from start to finish. And like, you know, which I felt that kind of boring to look at or even to listen to. So what I would do is pick the most climatic part or the strongest part, the funkiest part of the record and just continuously repeat that part over and over again in sync. This is like way before records were, yeah. I mean, even thought about being made, you know, there was no such thing as a recording artist, rapper on a record, so to speak, yeah. you know. What do you have on now? Well, I have one. Um, this was a real popular record, you know, in this time, and at this point here, it still is. It's uh, called uh, Bob James 2, Take Me to the Mardi Gras. And I'll just try to, like, take it apart and put it together again. started getting, as they say today, get busy on the turntables, everybody would just stop dancing and just look like as if I was holding class. When <laughs> my main objective was to get them out there. I mean, it was like it took me hours to figure out 
the best part of the record. I master it. I make a program out of like 30 or 40 records, and I'm ready to go out there and kill them with the best part of all these 30 or 40 records, and everybody's just standing around. I needed something to get the people off what it was I was doing and into a party mode. At that time there, playing in the parks with the, with the style of music that we was playing, you had to keep the audience occupied because if you didn't, you know, something, somebody might just get violent. I mean, uh -huh. these things happen, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, from there, that's when um, MCing, it's now, the standard is now called rapping. Mm -hmm. It was called MCing. And um, the rapping and the DJing, you know, intertwined together. It worked pretty good. Here we are, folk the first time. Guaranteed to make it any party line. So just you and it's your air. If you please. And if you don't want to rock, then you might as well leave. <laughs> what did you learn to rap and sing? Uh, from your English teacher and your music? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, rap. <laughs> you learn rap from the streets. Yeah, you yeah. grow up around rap. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is the Bronx. This is the hotbed of rap. This is where it all started. Uh, this is where it's still growing and, and building. Like in the New York City schools, a lot of the music programs were cut out because of budgetary reasons and stuff like that. So in the old days where kids could take music lessons and, you know, pay for private lessons and stuff like that, uh, in this, you know, in this section of the city, not, you know, not too many families can afford music lessons and things like that. Mm -hmm. And now that the schools don't have any music uh, programs, particularly left, especially in the elementary schools and the junior high schools, kids have no place to take music anymore so mm -hmm. in Bronx what happened was that they, they figured out a new form of music that didn't take any music lessons and that is using poetry in a, in a rhythm mm -hmm. uh, which has a lot, a lot of roots in Africa and stuff, stuff yeah. like that in the southern United States but the kids in the Bronx really invented this form because there's no outlet yeah. in programming drum computers and things like that that you need behind it doesn't take a heck of a lot of music lessons <laughs> Well, I called my girl, I'm on the phone To see if she was busy or all alone Just waiting for a signal or a green light And to know if I can see her on that same night And she said, yo, Al, it's up to you Then I said, okay, I'll be there in a few When I got inside, she gave me a squeeze Said, let's make love, she said, oh, Al, please I knew that I was doing it well Cause every two minutes, she screamed, oh, Al I felt so good, I was dogging her It was like a mobile station, it's a pop Gas. He said, yo, L, you make love better than Michael Jackson and his white glove. Just knew that. <laughs> this is Harlem in New York. Eigenaardig genoeg, niet een buurt die erg belangrijk is geweest in de geschiedenis van de rapmuziek. Tot in 84. Want toen stond hier een 17-jarige jonge man op, Doggy Fresh, die de rhythmbox of het ritmemachine volledig verving door zijn keel, de human beatbox. Vanaf dat ogenblik, 84, waren de street kids hier en in de andere buurten van New York eigenlijk volledig self-supporting. Want ze hadden zelfs geen ritmemachine meer nodig om muziek te maken. Do you know the kid who's living two houses yeah, up here? They up there. Who is it? Don't you know? Yeah, no. I don't know him personally. You know. You know Dougie Fresh? Yes, I know him, yeah. Do you know his records? Yeah, you know I'm not nothing but that kind of fellow. That's for them kids there. <laughs> You're not into rap music? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh.
All right. This is called the clicks, right? Go like this. Right? And I can do it in a whole lot of different ways. I can make it sound fast. I can make it sound slow. I can make it sound any way I want it to. Like, for instance, I could go like this. That's it. That's it. I can do it like that. I can do. I can play anything that I want to play. I can play anything you can think of. If it's a record, if it's a beat, if it's anything that that you know that that's within sense of playing, I can play it. You know, and it's just a gift. And I just do what I feel with it. Right now, rap music is top. Rap music is number one over here. Rap music is ruling. Mm -hmm. We cooling and rap music is ruling. Mm -hmm. And we stand here and we represent rap music because um, it's kind of it's kind of different. It's like the way rock and roll was back in the days. The way they wouldn't accept rock and roll to the fullest, but now they're accepting it. And we going through the same thing that they went through. And it's the younger people speaking up. It's, the, it's all the younger people speaking up. We, we represent the way that the younger people feel. And so we saying it. And a lot of younger people have these older idols to look up to. And these idols look soft. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I mean, it's nothing the matter with having long hair, but for you to wear eyeliner and blush and lipstick and to let your fingernails grow so long and all of this and, and, and all of that is cool if you still representing things like a man, but a lot of younger brothers and sisters, you know, they look at, they look at these young rap stars and they can see that they represent something that's real. We don't wear no glitter and stuff. Only thing we wear that glitter on us is our gold and we wear gold because it's natural. There's nothing fake about it. The main message to our rap music is have something to believe in and be yourself and let people hear that we're not as stupid and as ignorant as they think we are. You know what I'm saying? is het probleem van de crack, de nieuwe drug in de Verenigde Staten. Crack is een cocaïne-derivaat, eigenlijk rookbare cocaïne. We noemen het ook wel de street kid drug, omdat het veel goedkoper is dan cocaïne. Je hebt al wat crack voor een 10 à 20 dollar. En je bent er vrijwel onmiddellijk verslaafd aan. Daarom luidt het hier ook, crack is wack. Crack is niet oké, okay. crack is fout, moet je niet doen. Crack, kill, Applejack. He jumped in and he couldn't jump back. He was just too blind to see that. Death lives in the rock house. Crack. Right now we're in the uh, LES, known as the Lower East Side, uh, uh -huh. Manhattan. They're in the uh, Baruch projects right now. It's also um, one of the hottest crack neighborhoods, like a block or two away over there, Avenue D. It's pretty wild, you know, it's pretty rough. It's like a major crack cleanup uh, mm -hmm. area. Guns also? Of course, this is the ghetto. The kids, they travel in uh, packs and uh, like lots of kids because it's safe to, uh, to be in, in numbers of kids. Um, uh -huh. Can you say there's a relation between the street gangs 
the violence and the music or absolutely all... not mm -hmm. uh, the violence we just uh, we have a major debate about that the music uh, does not breed violence as a matter of fact it, you know it's the only way that these kids have of getting out of the neighborhoods by the music mm -hmm. they have two ways of getting out of the neighborhood either one is by you know dealing crack mm -hmm. um, or the other is by showing them the way out by either music uh, or, or rappers, or, you know, dancers there used to be, and they used to have the break dancing. I was another way to get the kids out. And I, I feel these kids haven't been treated properly. Um, I don't think they get the proper housing, the proper education, the proper chance in life. And we go out and we work with these kids, and, you know, and they're great. This is the CBS crew. What's the CBS crew? It's not a television station, I suppose. Can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. We play music. Can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. We play music, right? We make money. Yeah, we make money. Uh -huh. <laughs> by you doing what? You make money by doing what? By playing music, uh -huh. Bobito, all his parties. All jobs, yeah. nine to five. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> we go to school. No, I got this yeah, he told me. He, he, he told me you're a street gang. What does it mean? In Europe, we don't know what the street gang is. No, it was a problem. Like we all together, we all together, right? And then um, when we have problems, we're like a family. When we have yeah. problems, we, we get all together. Yeah. together. Yeah, we uh, all we, as one. We take it all together. Yeah, like they say, we take we yeah. one fight together. One. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell something about the neighborhood? What's going on here? Well, amongst young younger people. Crack. Not yet, crack. It is, it is. Yeah. It's real bad. It's real bad, right? We're against crack, crack. right? We uh -huh. try to fight. Like, if they sell drugs around here. We'll tell them get like, out of yeah, here. Yeah, that's what we do. Like, they can sell drugs around over there. But they, but they can't, can't sell, sell drugs around here. Uh -huh. But they sell drugs around here. That's what yeah. CBS is for. We, that's what yeah. CBS yeah. drugs over we'll here. We're chasing them out of here. Life is fresh, crack is wet. Yeah. What do you think your future looks like? My future? My future is music. I like music. And I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep on with music, mm -hmm. because I like music. You, you seem to be quite hopeful. What do you think the future of your friends will be in my this future, neighborhood? My, in this neighborhood? Well, a lot of them will go to jail. A lot of, most of them will go to jail. And maybe some of them will become good people, because some of my friends are good people, and they go to school and everything. Some of them don't, but that's how it is. Some of your friends are good, some of your friends are bad. Well, you the hip hop gangster. Just around with answering your right to the top of the surf. You should try to get closer. I'm a monster, other intellectual ability. My capture is for executing to the fullest. The mistress say around my other suckers will lie. They go to the fish and show me what the leaf is being done. It's not a weakness by my side. You can choose to tell. You can ask me. I owe my brother shit, man. Or just come to a party with the race. So hell, throw me straight from the rip, man. We're the warriors. Well, throw me straight. So you might listen to what we said. We have strong literature and knowledge for your head. We only down the rapper range in any territory. And don't try to compete in this rapping category. But when we rock upon the mic, just the two of us, we don't believe in other rappers. In God we trust. I'm not Morris Day. I'm not Jerome, it's my time, waste me, a wall in Tyrone, and when I rock, I know I'm number one, and when I rock, I kind of think I'm just like Ron. Do this whole boy mock jumpers on my feet. I'll be walking, I'll be pimping all down the street. And when you see mock jumpers, me, I play sports. Add Jordan's on my feet and basketball. Add Jordan's. This is the office of, of uh, Russell Simmons of Def Jam label. Yes. Yeah, are you going to see him? Yeah, hopefully we want to meet him. Uh -huh. What are the other rap songs you got? What are they about? All from Chicago? And yeah, it's what? about things we see happening in Chicago. Yeah, what no. happens in Chicago? You know, like, uh, are yeah. Are street gangs, for example? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely street gangs. I mean, that's all over, you know, for real. Do you, do you have a rap on that? Definitely. Can yeah. you do that one? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow is near, but pretty much remain the same. It's a talk about the phrase they call a street game. A street definition, but the boys who cause trouble, yet you catch one alone. They're scared to bust a bubble. Most homeboys, we know, I dropped it in the game. It's best to show some love, or you receive pain. Got to go to game meetings, no time for hesitation. Either pay protection fees, or yes, you get a violation. With game bankers fighters, you need five or six dudes, don't fight. 
fight, clean fast. They don't fight by the rules. You can't tell a gang nothing just because they know it all have been finished good. Oh, yet the gang banging tall. They try to grow up fast. They try to be the big brother. They steal it from their mother, taking blood from each other. Let's stop these gangs. Bring a new situation. Stay out of trouble. They try to get your education. The Windy City wouldn't be a bad place to live if they love one another and everybody give. It will please us all. If gangs were creative, then the law wouldn't bother them. The people wouldn't hate them. My best friends would never be the same. Mistaken is shot by a rebel street gang. Came out every day. No enemies at all. All he did is with the chain. He played basketball. I got a friend named Dale. He's cool as hell. Got a face like a booger. A nose like a snail. My friend named Dale. He's locked in cell. Cause he's always getting pooped. Now his name is Gail. In the late 60s, the gangs came out. People running in the crib. They was scared to come out. Yeah, three rival gangs had control of the street. You either did what you told or you were dead meat. Great. You think you're gonna get a record deal with yeah. that time? Hopefully, I mean, that's we been feel my it. Dream. We, we had an inspiration in doing it. something going on. Yeah. yeah. We left Chicago all the way. Just yeah. Okay. Lots of here. success. I gotta see Russell myself. Yeah. We left Chicago all the way to come here. Okay. Right. Bye. Nice I have an appointment with Russell Simmons. Can you call him? Our first artist was Curtis Blow. We currently represent like 40, maybe 40 artists, including Curtis Blow, Houdini, LL Cool J, the Beastie Boys, Run DMC, of course, uh, Davey D, Spider D, Sparky D, mm -hmm. Long List. They've all had some success, um, some more than others. Uh, I think people, as they hear, hear it more, they understand it more and will appreciate it more. Run DMC has sold over a million records. Well, they sold, the first album sold 900,000. The second one sold a little over 900,000. This new one has sold over two and, a, two and a quarter million. I couldn't wait to get it. Everybody was telling me to get a Mercedes Benz or yeah. get this or get that, but I like the Cadillac. It's pretty. Does it have special gadgets inside? Well, it's all electronic. Let's go inside and see, man. You wanna go inside? Show us something. <laughs> Black tinted window. Usually the police stop me and say, hey, what's going on? You know what? Tinted on? windows don't mean nothing. They, they know, know who's inside. inside. Come on over. Straight up here, pop from New York City. <laughs> Come on, come on, we're gonna hit the top. Now I'm DMC in the place to be. And I go by the name of DMC in the car that I drive by the beer caddy. I wear my glasses so I can see. <laughs> Well, right now, um, me, Run, and Jay, we're producing this rapper. His name is Rapper Ron Ski. Uh -huh. And he's a Jamaican reggae rapper, and we're doing him a single right now, and he's very incredible. Good up and run, good up and run, good up and run, my mama run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You want to take me and take no calls? Yeah. Hello. I have who this? I have problems, Leo, man. I'm trying to make a mix. Everybody's calling me. Yeah. It's really fucked up, man. Don't call us at home. My money. I already, oh my God, you're taking me through. I bet Russell got a hand in you trying to make it up. We want to spend for our own cause in life like I spent for my own burgers. We'll pay for our rooms, we'll pay for everything. It's good for my career. Thank you. Later. Leave me alone. Stop telling me I gotta pay for my own rooms in the hotel. Who gives a fuck? Who, are, are we all getting the same we, shit? Jay, we all spend the same money so we get the same shit. We all get a nice room and a nice car. Let's go. I'm so nervous fucking phone. I'll leave it off forever. I'll leave it off forever. But I wanna catch it. Like you didn't catch it. I wanna catch this shit. They only come once in a year anyway. Let's go. Real nervous, man. Ready? G O R O. Get up and run. 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 Get up and run.
My Adidas walk to concert doors and roam all over Coliseum floors. I stepped on stage at Lop 8. All the people gave and the poor got paid. And out of speakers, I did speak. I wore my sneakers, but I'm not a sneak. My Adidas touched the sand of a foreign land. With mic in hand, a cold took command. My Adidas and D close as can be. We make a mean team, my Adidas and me. We get around together. We're down forever, and we won't be had when worn in bad weather. My Adidas. And we didn't make that record to get money from Adidas or nothing. We just made it because it was like I said, this is what all the youth wear, and it was like our tribute to our sneakers. Like, when we first started, we didn't um, put on no fancy costumes because Run DMC is no gimmicks or nothing. We straight up and we straight forward. And this, what I'm wearing now, what we wear on stage is just what all the youth wear. That's what, you know, that's what all our fans wear. So dressing this way lets them know, oh, he's just like me. That's why we got a rhyme that goes, the things I do makes me a star. And you can be too if you know who you are. Just put your mind to it, you go real far, like the pedal to the metal when you're driving a car. I want to be able to sell, um, sell a group for what they are without gimmicking you all the time. And we haven't been, you know, in England, especially and in Europe, you guys are very gimmick oriented when it comes to this music, holiday rap, and, and um, what other garbage? You know, it's all gimmick, it's jokes, mm -hmm. and there's no artists. Certainly we, you know, our company is based on developing images and artists, you know, and, and the guys we sign make their own songs and have their own ideas and have more commercial talent than most any pop stars. Yeah. And these guys come in and know what they're making, you know. Um, I don't know that Diana Ross produced or wrote any of her songs, or how many of them did she. I know that LL Cool J is the driving force in the studio when he records, that Houdini is the re Houdini can change producers like he changes gloves or socks and keep making records when he doesn't need producers. Uh, Spider, Sparky, the rest, all those artists that we signed are, co are commercial talents on their own. Hello. Hi. Is this um, LL Cool J's home? Yes, it is. You must be his grandmother then. I am. Is he at home? Yes, he is. Can I see him? You may. Can you I come may. in? Sure you may. Come in. Hey! He'll be right here. Hello. Hello, what's up? What's up? How are you I'm doing? I'm myself. All right. What's up, man? What's up? You are, you are one of the few who make uh, love raps and rather tender love raps. Why don't the others do that, you think? Well, you know, it's just like an inside feeling, right, Easy e Maybe they don't want to make that type of music. They'd rather make hard records. Or mm -hmm. they just rather make hard records or records that ain't on that tip. Me, I like doing that because I like ladies, you know, a mm -hmm. lot. So I like to express myself and let them know that I like them and love them and warn them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Watch your back. So we'll Watch treat. your back, because you might get hit. <laughs> yeah. Can you give us some uh, definitions of the LLs in LL. your name? LL stands for Ladies Love Legend and Level Long and Lean Love of Ladies. Last of the Red Hot Love is looking for a little. Look and learning the one you're liking. It's a lot of L's. You know what I'm saying? Ladies Love Legend and Leather Long and Lean and I Don't Wear Pleather. Last of the Red Hot Loving MCs looking for a little. That's my theory. It goes quick like lightning. Too exciting. Lover of ladies. Don't allow biting. Level-headed leader. Toy boy feeder. Good love life and a rhyme by the beater. Look and learning the one you you're liking, listening, you will love what I'm writing. Ladies love, long, hard, and lean. And now you know what LL means. You know what yeah, I'm now we know it. <laughs> or, uh, can you say that rap is a, well, huh? a boy's thing, even a macho thing? Because there aren't much girl rappers. What's your opinion on that? Well, we got girl rappers. Oh, it's girl just rap. that, you but know. not many, not many. Most well, of them just, are boys. You know, it's inevitable, just like anything else, you know? It takes time for you to get these things, you know? Female rappers will be, you know, they're out there. Eventually, they'll be a big, successful group. You know, it's only it's inevitable. 
this takes time, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The male rappers haven't even got to where they're supposed to be yet. You know what I'm saying? We want to be way up there, like, just like that, that jet going through the sky over there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We want to be way up there chilling, up high, and, you know, then the girls will come through. You yeah. know, I'm not a, I'm not a macho. What do you call it? Egotistical pig or whatever yeah. it is. A lot of the rap lyrics, not only yours, but also from most of the rap groups, are very metro type. I mean, they sing about themselves, they boast about yeah, themselves. Yeah, but I speak say, about girls telling them my daydream love scenes when you pass by. I wonder what the future holds for you and I, so I'm not, you know, mm -hmm. being like that. You know, it's just, that's just part of life. You know what I'm saying? If you don't express to somebody that you're proud of yourself and how you how you coming off, you know what I'm saying? Then how they gonna know? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How they gonna know what to believe? You know, what would you say if they got on a, re on a record and said, yo, I'm a sucker, I'm a punk, and I can't even fight, I don't make no money. You know, how that sound? What are you gonna rap about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the youngsters are rapping about now is uh, uh, nursery rhymes. So we like to deal with the real. You know what I mean? Rhyming is fine, but not nursery rhymes. Mm -hmm. That's why you, know? you, you say hip hop is one big ego trip. Well, yes, it is. It is an ego trip because the guys only be talking about yourself. How much of a lover, how the women love them to death. You know what I mean? How they can, how they can throw down, how good they can dance, how bad they are. Nobody better not mess with me and all of that kind of foolishness that uh, only encourages violence. You know, and uh, 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 madness as opposed to encouraging sanity mm -hmm. and uh, uh, progress. And I'm saying that they're uh, uh, telling people, talking about how tough they are and everything is not solving the problem. You understand? If they would address the issues, the issues being poverty, the issues being powerlessness, the issues being not having political power, the issue is being economically deprived. You see what I'm saying? All of these issues, they should be addressing this with their energy. I don't rap about problems. You know, I don't rap about things that, like, like the ghetto or nothing. Because when kids come to my concert, when they come to my concert, I want them to, I want life's pressure to be taken off their backs. You know what I'm saying? And not put on their backs. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why they come to my show, they be having fun. Hard as hell. That's what I want them to do. Not uh -huh. rap about the ghetto in life. Yeah. But they don't want to hear that. You know so it's not necessary to, for a rap to have messages like Grandmaster Flash. No, that's uh, unnecessary. Why, why would a kid want to pay a ticket to come and hear how bad life is? Uh, <laughs> this is your son. This is one of my sons, yeah. Uh, what do you think about all that? Do you like hip-hop music, you told us? Yeah. What do you think about your dad just said? Well, I think that he's speaking much of the truth. And um, you just can't be, you know, that kind of stuff that he's talking. I do admit... What I be listening to is garbage, but I, I still love it. I, I still like it, but it makes me dance and, you know, it gets me up. But, you know, he's, his, his music brings education to a um, person. Blessed are you all who will join with us now in this struggle of life and death so that freedom and peace will be more than a word to the offering that we have left. Mm, blessed are those who struggle. Oppression is worse than the grave. Better to die for a noble cause than to live and die a slave. Who blessed are those who struggle? Oppression is worse than the grave. Better to die for a noble cause than to live and die a slave. Actually, if they didn't have any words whatsoever, and they put on the music, you know, put the drum machine on, put the bass machine on, they wouldn't need to put no music in it. They wouldn't need no words. You understand? And they still, you know, do 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 They can do that, man. They make a move, make a move because number one, our people have rhythm that's natural. You understand? They, the drum is a part of us. So consequently, when we hear drums and we hear bass, if it's played, you understand? We pat our feet to the beat. We ain't got the rhyme all the time.
around the city, it's not always pretty what people do to make ends meet. It's a love emotion, an old-fashioned notion, it's so hard to find in the streets. You better look at it and know, or you might lose your door, it's not a very friendly choice. It's so hard to get along in the world so warm, but don't forget you still have a voice. I said say what you want to say. Tell them to eat, but say what you want to say. You got to other MCs wish they could say and want to say. say, scared to say, because the record companies won't let them say it. So since I have my own record company, I can say anything I want. Yeah. <laughs> if, you know, our buddies do crack, we're going to say it. If Run DMC buddies do crack, they're not going to say it because the record companies won't let them say it. First of all, you, you can't be affiliated with drugs. But, you know, if it's happening, we're going to say it. I don't want to be a school teacher saying, don't do drugs, don't, you know, have sex, don't steal, you know. Can you give us some examples of uh, typical words you use in uh, the rapping? Like, ill, this, suck ass, nigga, I shoot you dead, pistol, coat, laces, crap, things of that sort. That's, that's how they talk. They say, yo, man, what's up, man? You don't go downtown and chill? Like, nah, man, you know, stay home and chill, you know? He don't talk like that. We talk like that because we know that's how they talk. Rock and roll came out. See, people don't remember rock and roll came out the same way rap came out. People said, no, nah, it'll never last. Parents told their children not to listen to it. It's bad, it's the devil's music. And what it developed into is something bad. You know, it's like, I see these guys doing with the guys that I used to, you know, look on TV, look at the old movies. I used to like that. But then I look at the new rock and rollers It's a shame what they did to it, and I hope rap just don't go that same route, where they take the rawness away, just, just then make it too pretty. I don't think rock and roll is meant to be pretty. Rock and roll is meant to be bad. It's like rap. Say it loud. I love rapping out proud. Say it loud. I love rapping out proud. 